Hello, and uh, welcome to another live show. Sorry for the delay in starting. So today I wanted to talk about uh, how you build uh, multilingual sites. That is uh, a website which contains uh, both uh, um, information about uh, primary language and uh, other additional translations you might have. So let's jump right in and build a website that is multilingual. Um, we'll build a fictional website which contains uh, essentially empty pages just for uh, understanding purposes. So I'll start with uh, let's say I have a primary language which is English so I have a home page and uh, a second page uh, just for so that we can see this how it works. Uh, so I'll call this uh, home uh, English and then I'll call this um, perhaps uh, product uh, English. Uh, so the way you can approach this is to either have pages uh, uh, inside one website file, so you can have a single Sparkle file, or you can have multiple ones. Uh, the multiple file is uh, slightly more involved and uh, requires uh, shuffling windows too much, so I'll start with uh, uh, just uh, all the pages in one site. So you have uh, an English page, uh, so we have some text here which is in English. Um, so suppose you want to make now a German translation. The way you do, uh, I mean, the, the way, so, so we added features to uh, make uh, multi-language sites recognized to search engines. Uh, we didn't actually do much within Sparkle that helps translation. You still have to do translation yourself. And I strongly suggest you don't, don't, do not use uh, Google Translate for that because it's very recognizable to uh, native speakers. So anyway, I have my uh, English homepage. I duplicated it. And let's say I make this uh, my uh, homepage for uh, my German so this would be the text I get from my translator. So it's going to be German text here. And then I also duplicate my um, product page. And I'll just uh, keep them in sequence like this. Oh, a new feature in Sparkle 2.6 is this option to hide thumbnails. So that makes it a little more tidy and I don't have to scroll that much. And so this is going to be my uh, product uh, German page. And uh, since I'm ambitious, I'm going to also make a uh, French translation. So again, here I'll have my French, um, sorry, home French. And uh, my, I'll duplicate this just, no, it's not necessary, it's an empty page, but just because it's what you would do if you had uh, uh, a translation coming in so this is my French product page so what we added this would be my French text what we added in Sparkle 2.6 is uh, the ability to um, uh, designate a page being in a certain language so let's say this is my website.com and my main language is English. These are all uh, ISO language codes, so they appear a bit odd, but that's that's how they work. Um, and then I'll, I'll tell Sparkle that my website also has a German, so DE language code, and the base link is uh, the website address so it's going to be mywebsite.com again. And uh, so this says that uh, all the pages are within the same uh, base website, which is, uh, uh, since we're working with the same Sparkle file, it's uh, the same as the website address. If I were to work with a different Sparkle file and maybe have uh, the other Sparkle file be published to a different domain, because for, for example, I have a, a .de or a .fr domain, then I can set that as my base link. Um, 
so I'll, I'll add the French language as well. My website.com again here. So this is my base setup for a multi-language website. Um, pages will default to the English language, but I can uh, specify for each page whether it's in a different language. And Sparkle will tag the pages with uh, so-called metadata, which is uh, uh, essentially a way to uh, inf instruct, uh, give search engines uh, uh, structured information, uh, which search engines can then uh, read more easily and, and use. Uh, so what happens is uh, now my English homepage here has a new, uh, in the page settings up here, has a new language setting and uh, the other languages are not uh, have not been designated here. Uh, the same thing for my German product page here so um, the base language is incorrectly set to English currently that's because it's the default and uh, the other page links uh, uh, also need to be set. I'm not setting them now because I want to show you what happens when you set them in Sparkle so I'll start with the home page and uh, that's uh, English of course because that's my default language for my website and then I'll tell it that the German language is a page of this website and it's specifically it's the home page uh, the, the page I called home German so uh, once I do that my German page here link is uh, uh, set up and uh, if I switch to the German page I see Spyco has already designated the page as German and has set the link in the reverse direction towards the home page. And uh, I'll do the same for French here. So I'll tell uh, Sparkle that the French page is the home French. Now you'll notice that in the pop-up here there are fewer pages. That's because Sparkle is only showing the pages which have uh, the default language set um, so they might uh, be uh, designated as being in this language, but it will not show me, for example, the German homepage because I have already designated that to be German. Um, I'll do the same, so if I switch to the French page, that's also already populated. So I'll do the same for the product page and I'll tell it that the German page for the product page is uh, this one and the product page for the French page is this one. So now all pages have a, let's see, let's make the window slightly larger. So down here you see all pages have uh, the other languages information filled in, as you can see down in this section down here. And what that means is that Sparkle will be able to generate uh, metadata or let's say cross references from one page to the other. Uh, the way uh, search, engines, search engines use this and uh, I guess uh, we can talk about Google specifically. Uh, if you have uh, an indication of uh, a page in a different language or a translation of a page, Google might, uh, at their discretion, decide that uh, searches to, for, that, that uh, are directed to your website will be directed to the specific language uh, that you set up here. Uh, thanks, Marco. So, um, I can show you uh, one other thing which we added for uh, multi-language support and that's uh, if I add a menu here you'll see that uh, it only shows uh, pages which are in English even though uh, the auto add pages option is set so Sparkle will Sparkle's menu is now language aware and it only shows uh, pages in the menu which are built with the same language as the current page so if I make this menu visible in all pages and uh, we can see if this works properly here. Uh, oh, we have to uh, rebuild the menu here. Okay, so make it visible. So I'll make this menu visible in the current page. And if I create the menu here, 
Okay, so this needs uh, some fixing. If I create uh, a new menu in the German section, it will be contain the German items. If I make a new menu in the French section, it will contain the French items, uh, as you can see. Okay, so um, setting up uh, multi-language uh, um, references between pages is useful for uh, search results. So let's talk about search results a little bit. And uh, uh, it's hard for me to show you directly how uh, settings in Sparkle will be shown uh, on, on a Google search engine because uh, of course Google uh, will scan your website or, or crawl your website only once every few days uh, if you're lucky maybe weeks or months so I'll show you um, the Sparkle source file for uh, the source for Sparkle's uh, um, web page so this is Sparkle's homepage and uh, we will focus on this area here, which is uh, search and social. So how does that map to um, uh, the Google search results for this? And uh, so I'll open this in a quick look. So um, this is uh, the first thing to notice is that uh, this is uh, set as the Sparkle homepage. So it uh, means it has an index.html uh, web file um, file name. Uh, this is uh, generally not uh, not th not shown by web browsers and web servers. So as you see, the, the address is uh, this green text here is uh, the base address of the website. So the website has uh, this address, and so uh, that's what is uh, shown here. Uh, next is the title section. So the title is uh, the purple text here. Um, it's purple because I, I visited, I guess. Um, and the section below that is uh, uh, the description here. So the description isn't necessarily always used by Google. Uh, in this case, Google is using the description because I searched exactly for Sparkle Visual Web Design. If my search had matched some text in the page down here, so maybe I had typed a query like, uh, you know, uh, Modern Website Builder, Sparkle Modern Website Builder, then the text would be shown in the results here and the keywords would be highlighted. Uh, but since I my, my query matched the uh, page title and a little bit of the content of the description, that's what's shown here. Uh, so, um, there is an additional uh, section which is uh, often considered as uh, uh, important for search engines, which, which is keywords. And we placed it in this uh, section down here, other information, because uh, in fact, uh, keywords were used uh, way back when and uh, search engines haven't been using them for a long time and so they aren't actually we don't even fill them in in Sparkle but they aren't actually needed however many people think they're necessary so you know we include them for peace of mind uh, it's not necessary to fill them out okay Bart asks uh, what about local company information you can fill in data for one language that's that's correct we currently don't have uh, uh, good support for that so um, we only use uh, we only have a single language we will have to um, probably look into that uh, generally though um, well I don't know I should think about that. It's probably it's probably it could be worth looking into and uh, supporting a multi-language uh, case. Uh, right now, the way you would solve that would be to use uh, multiple uh, Sparkle files and have uh, a separate one for each language, and each one would have the local business information. 
um, I was going to say generally uh, local businesses uh, target uh, local traffic, but of course you can have uh, uh, tourists uh, in a city who are looking for local results in a different uh, non-native language, and so it makes sense uh, in that case to have uh, local the local business information in multiple languages. Uh, so going back to um, search and social information, um, what I have entered here is uh, mm, uh, an image which can be shared, uh, um, on, uh, which will be used by search engines uh, to share on, uh, I'm sorry, which will be used by social networks to share on, uh, on uh, social. So uh, whenever I use that, uh, whenever I someone uses this uh, page address, so sparkleapp.com, uh, this information is embedded in the page and will be used there. Um, okay, I've kind of rushed through the information. Do you have questions about this? I So um, we can go back to that and show you that if I add a new page here, it's in English, so we will be added to this menu. And if I switch this page to German, it will perhaps be moved into this menu here. So Fernando asks, uh, you set up your website without the www is not needed anymore. Uh, www is uh, um, let's say you could think it's a matter of taste perhaps because uh, you might like a website to have it or you would like the website to or perhaps you prefer it uh, without um, it is uh, not required by any standard it used to be a way to distinguish uh, pages which were part of the World Wide Web which is uh, you know HTML CSS pages uh, there aren't uh, in fact uh, in uh, I guess for most people there isn't uh, much else to know about the web except uh, the World Wide Web so it kind of feels redundant so that's why many people don't use it anymore um, I personally like uh, websites more without because it seems redundant but uh, it's your choice the important thing is you should only have either uh, one or the other because search engines are um, let's say you know they can get confused about which is which and so the address you enter here in Sparkle is um, going to become what search engines call the canonical address so this is going to be your main address uh, for uh, for the website and uh, if you have uh, a different one you should uh, have that one uh, set up to redirect to your main website to your canonical address so that's what what happens uh, when you type sparkleapp.com, you see the www is uh, stripped out and it redirects to the main one, to our canonical address. That's uh, something which is uh, also in the source code of the page, so Google is instructed uh, that that's the main one, that's the canonical address. Okay, um, I think we're um, done for today, and uh, that was a short episode. My battery is running low, and it's uh, hot in here, so that's uh, all the better. Talk to you soon.